this is Nikki. Welcome back to Nikki's Homemade Crafts YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet reversible mosaic crochet. So on one side it looks like this and then the other side looks like that. So no more stripes in the back. I will teach you step by step on how to crochet this technique. It is much easier than you might think. There's only a few little tweaks you have to do to the regular overlay mosaic crochet in order to turn it reversible. So you can crochet things like this or this. So let's get started on this really fun tutorial. I'm going to use cotton sprout yarn for this tutorial as well as a 4.5 millimeter hook. You're also going to need this small little graph, which is in my written tutorial that is on my website as well as my ebook. See the link down below in the description for that. Let's get started first with the most basic and most important information in terms of mosaic crochet. The very first thing is if you've never done mosaic crochet before, I highly recommend checking out my most basic mosaic crochet tutorial that talks about how to do overlay mosaic crochet. I also have a tutorial that shows the difference between inset mosaic crochet as well as overlay mosaic crochet and of course Tunisian mosaic crochet but I don't want to confuse you so I'm going to just talk about overlay mosaic crochet using the reversible technique Ideally, you want to go through this tutorial if you have done overlay mosaic crochet before, so you do know the basics you are just going to expand your knowledge using this tutorial but as a quick reminder, you're going to switch colors or better cut your yarn and pick it back up every other row. So that means all the odd rows are going to be done for me in yellow and all the even rows are done in blue. Furthermore, every pixel is one stitch and every pixel that has no X written down is going to be shown as a single crochet in a back loop only and I'm emphasizing the word is shown because for the reversible part, we're going to do something slightly different in the back. So from the front, every stitch, no matter the color, if you see no X, it's going to show as a single crochet in a back loop only from the front, from the right side. All the ones with an X, on the graph are going to be done as a mosaic double crochet. That means you're going to do a double crochet two rows down to the leftover front loop. And then of course there is the reversible part. It's always that I call the catch up row. You're doing the row shown as well as the row from before as the reversible technique. So that means anything that is above an X that is supposed to be a single crochet in the back loop only is going to be done as an anchored double crochet in the back. No worries, I'm going to show you how to do that. And the very last thing before we get started is you're going to need to understand that for reversible mosaic crochet, you're going to use more yarn than you would for a regular overlay mosaic crochet project. And you're also going to do one to two catch up rows at the very end, which I'll show you as well. So that is very important information. If you're going to use a pattern that typically just calls for an overlay mosaic crochet and it calls for a certain amount of skeins per color, but you decide to do it as reversible mosaic crochet, make sure you get more yarn because you're going to need a little bit more yarn. You're going to run out otherwise. Now that you know the basics, let's actually get started with the actual crocheting part of it. I'm going to kind of push this here to the side so you can kind of still see that graph, but um, we're going to get started on row three because row three starts with the actual mosaic crochet part. So quick reminder, rows one and two are done in one color each all in single crochet that means the very first row is done in single crochet regular single crochet I just went into the back bump and then I cut my yarn and then I started over on the blue color here and did single crochet in a back loop only why because there was no X shown so regardless of what color you see here on the graph you are going to do what I mentioned one single crochet in a back loop only no matter what it shows if there is no X shown okay no matter what the color I know there's like blue yellow blue yellow etc you're still going to do single crochet in a back loop only all in blue 
then cut your yarn and start over. By the way, quick reminder, there's nine stitches here per row. That means you started with a chain of 10 in the very, very beginning. Okay, so now I'm going to reattach my yellow. And the way I like to do that is simply add my yarn to my hook. And now I'm going to insert my hook into the back loop only for the very first stitch. There is no X here, which means I'm just going to do a regular single crochet in the back loop only. So I'm actually doing no chain of one or anything. I'm just going to have my slip knot on my hook, pull my yarn through here, have two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through. That's my single crochet in the back loop only. Okay, now we have an X right here. So we're going to place a mosaic double crochet two rows down. So let's do that. Everything you see so far is exactly the same way as an overlay mosaic crochet. So we're gonna do that. So now we have the mosaic double crochet. And now I'm just gonna repeat that process because it is single crochet in the back loop only, mosaic double crochet, single crochet, mosaic, etc. until the end. So it's gonna look like this now. I fastened off and I cut my yarn. So now we're going to actually start with the reversible mosaic crochet technique. So we're going to reattach our yarn right in the front just like we did before, but this time in blue. So we have two stitches that are shown a single crochet in the back loop only, but the very first one we do the regular way. So let me show you. So the first one is just a single crochet in the back loop only. And now is where the actual technique starts, okay? So I mentioned before, very briefly, that anything that is above an X, right here is an X, right above, is an anchored double crochet. So it shows as a single crochet in a back loop only from the front view, but in the back it's a double crochet. So let me show you how that works. So it's very important that when you do this technique right here that you understand that when you do a double crochet in the front loop right here, you're actually gonna skip that stitch right behind it. So do you see that stitch? There's uh, a there's two loops, right? There's the front loop and then there's a back loop in the back there, okay? We're gonna use that back loop over there, which is right here, okay? It's that skipped stitch. It's technically not a skipped stitch because we did a double crochet right on top of it, but you know what I mean. It's that single crochet that we didn't touch in blue. So we're gonna use that for this purpose. So that means you're going to insert your hook right here and you're gonna start making a single crochet in the back loop only but you're actually not gonna finish it like that. What you're gonna do now is you're going to yarn over, turn your project slightly, look for that leftover back loop right there, okay? Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. Now you're going to yarn over and pull through two. And now you're going to yarn over and pull through all three. So that means if you're now looking at it from the front, it looks like a single crochet in a back loop only, but in the back, you made a double crochet, okay? So you're actually catching up. You're repeating what you did in yellow, but you're going to do it in blue now, okay? So it's kind of like a catch up row. That's how I like to consider it. So now let's see what the next stitch is. The next stitch is just a regular X, which is a mosaic double crochet. So we're skipping here that yellow part right here, and we're going down here to that front loop. So this is that yellow stitch later we're gonna need in the next row. So keep that in mind, this one right here. We're gonna do here the mosaic double crochet in that blue front loop. And you can see here that I skipped that yellow one in the back there, okay? It's kind of overlaid. Now we're going to do right here, this stitch says again, it's a single crochet in the back loop only, but it's above an X, which means we're gonna do that reversible technique again, which is the anchored double crochet. So we're going to insert our hook into the back loop of that double crochet, yarn over and pull through. So we're starting our single crochet, but now we need to do our double crochet in the back. So yarn over, turn our project slightly, Look for that back loop right here. This one, yarn over and pull through. Now you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through three. Okay, and that's how you did it. So now you can see again, 
just to uh, show you again so there's a single crochet in the back loop only single crochet in the back loop only but only in the front because there's a double crochet in the back we did the mosaic double crochet and here again we did that single crochet in the back loop only from the front view but we made it as a double crochet in the back so now I'm going to repeat that for the entire row and I'll show you how that looks like and once you're done it's going to look like this from the front and if you turn it around it's going to look like that from the back okay so you can see now that we have four in the back just like you see in the yellow so you're literally doing a catch up but doing it in blue in this case so whatever you've done in the previous color the row before you're going to do on the back in the next row but you also are going to do whatever the row shows right here right so the easiest way to think about it is whenever you see an X and you're doing the stitch right above you're going to do an anchored double crochet so let's do one more row together and then I'm gonna show you how to do those catch-up rows that I was talking about so let's do yellow now uh, right here we're in row five so I'm going to reattach my yellow we're going to do one two regular single crochet in the back loop only and then we have an x right below so we're going to do an anchored one right here so let me just do the single crochet in the back loop only the first two that are just regular ones so there we go and now you can see we have an x here which means there is a mosaic double crochet right here so right here is where you're supposed to have a single crochet in the back loop only but there's an x below so we're going to do the anchored one so insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. You have two loops on your hook. Now yarn over and tilt slightly. Look for that leftover loop. Should be very obvious right there. Yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. And then yarn over and pull through three. So you can see we have a single crochet in the back loop only from the front view, but we have a double crochet in the back. Okay, so right here is now a regular mosaic double crochet, so two rows down. And you can see that there is that blue in the back. We're going to need that in the next row. So there, mosaic double crochet. And here again, you can see a single crochet in the back loop only, but it's above an X. So again, we're going to do the anchored one. So yarn over and pull through an unfinished single crochet. Now yarn over, tilt find that leftover loop yarn over and pull through pull through two pull through three and now again here is a mosaic double crochet in the next stitch which is two rows down in that front loop in the same color and then right here one more anchor double crochet and now the last two stitches are just regular single crochet in the back loop only and there we go and it's going to look like this from the front and this from the back i'm not going to finish this project here until the end but then i'm going to show you how to do the one to two catch up rows so let me now go until row nine and show you how you're going to finish it because when you do reversible mosaic crochet you always have to add one to two extra rows depending whether you have mosaic double crochet stitches at the very last row so i'll show you that okay so this is how it's going to look like now if you did all nine rows so if you would do regular overlay mosaic crochet you could stop at this point it's nice and even you have yellow on the bottom and you have yellow on the top but if you would reverse it now you would see that there is something missing okay so you can see there's here on the bottom four blue ones but they're not here okay so you're going to have to do at least one row of a catch-up row at the end but then you would end up with blue so which is why when I do reversible mosaic crochet, I add two extra rows. First, I catch up with whatever it shows here in the back or was supposed to show in the back, which shows in the front right here. You see there's you can see there's four yellow ones right here. They need to be in blue in the back. So we're catch up with that row, row first and then we add one more row, which is the anchored single crochet. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So that way everything is nice and neat and clean. The important thing is you don't have to do two extra rows if your very last row is just single crochet in the back loop only. In that case, 
you can just do one catch up row or you might not even have to do any catch up row if the bottom and the top is even usually I like to have them the same color so if the very last row is just single crochet in a back loop only you may not even have to do any extra rows but in this case we do because in the last row we have mosaic double crochet so we need to do some catch up rows so let's do that right now so I'm going to take my blue because we need to now do whatever shows in this row we need to do in the back okay so let me remind you that whenever you see an X right above it you need to do the anchored double crochet so what we're going to do right now is we're literally repeating row 9 but in blue okay but with wherever there's an X we're going to do the anchored double crochet so let me show you so we're going to start obviously with a single crochet in a back loop only because that first stitch is regular and now the next one you can see here there's a mosaic double crochet so we're going to do the anchored one right in the back here like so and now we're going to do a regular single crochet again and now again the anchored so whenever you see a mosaic double crochet we we'll do the anchored one and then again regular single crochet in a back loop only and now you're going to repeat that until the end alrighty so now you can see in the front it looks like it we just did single crochet in a back loop only but if you turn it around you can see that there is these four anchored double crochets. So now in the back, it's all even, but you can still see now something is still off. We have on the bottom, we have that yellow row, and at the top, we have the blue row, which again is the exact same thing on this side. So technically, it is even because we have single crochets down here and single crochets on the top, but it still doesn't look quite even. So in order to make it even, we're going to add one more row in yellow. And here what we can do is in order to make it nice and clean, uh, we're going to do a anchored single crochet. So it's kind of a reverse, okay? So what we're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to the yellow. So it's actually not on top of it, okay? It's on the front here because what we, we don't wanna add more and more rows on the top. We wanna make it look even in the front and in the back. So in order to do that, we're going to take our loop, we have it on our hook. We're going to insert it right here in the front loops. We're just gonna work with the front loops and we're gonna work with the blue in the back here. You're gonna make a single crochet down here, like so. What we're actually gonna do is a stacked single crochet, but we anchor it in the back, okay? So I'm going to insert my hook into the loop that's closest to my yarn finger. So there's two loops of that single crochet, right? So we're gonna insert it, the one that's close to your yarn finger, yarn over and pull through. And now typically what you would do now is you're going to yarn over and pull through again. But here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go through that stitch in blue, go through both loops, yarn over and pull through. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So you're catching up here in the back, you're making a single crochet in the back, but you're making a double crochet in the front. So now that is a stacked single crochet that's anchored in the back. So now we're going to just do double crochets with a single crochet in the back. So I call them anchored single crochet. So insert your hook into that front loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. So now it's an unfinished double crochet. Now you insert your hook in the back here. You can go through the back loop only if you want. I went through, I'm going through both. Yarn over and pull through, like so. Yarn over and pull through. It's a double crochet in the front, but it's a single crochet in the back. So let me show you again. So yarn over, insert your hook into the front loop. Yarn over and pull through. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Now it's an unfinished double crochet. Now go in the back here, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. Okay, there you go. So now you're going to keep going and do this all the way until the end. And once you're done, it's going to look like this. So you now can see how the bottom and the top are all even. So we caught up with the yellow, so it both shows yellow. But when we turn the entire project around, you can also see how it's all even now. You have yellow on the bottom, on 
and on the top. And the entire project that you see right here is reversed from the other side. So you can see here the blue lines, right? And make that image that you can see right here, but it's reversed, right? So you can see all everything that's in blue right here is shown here in yellow. And then if you turn it around, you can actually see that. So everything is shown here in yellow. You did it! You made this reversible mosaic crochet swatch. Finally, you know how to do it and you can do it for all mosaic crochet graphs and projects. Literally every single one you can turn reversible. If it's overlay mosaic crochet, you can make it reversible with this easy technique. Now remember, I have a membership called The Crochet Club and it has over 400 ad-free patterns with checkoff boxes and additional tutorials, VIP access to me teaching you every single week what you want to be taught. Whether it's stitches, tips, amigurumi, little patterns or anything else, on a monthly basis we Vote on what you want to see the next month and every week I go live and teach you exactly what you want to be taught. So come join my membership if you want to get my patterns ad free and get a really fun community with it as well as me teaching you exactly what you want to be taught. I'll see you in the membership. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to like, comment and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I publish a new video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. I'm sure you want to. I'll see you next time. Bye.